G'day you cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Aussie currently living in America but currently filming in Australia as I am here for two months whilst of course season three dropped on Disney Plus worldwide and oh my god guys there is so much that Disney Plus changed this time around and I just don't understand it except for one thing. One thing is the only thing I understand out of the 10 changes that Disney made to Bluey season three. So we're going to go through all the changes that they made as well as why I think that maybe they made them and whether or not I agree with it or disagree with it. And I'd like to know as well whether or not you think that any of these changes were necessary as well. If you're new to my channel though, I love to do Bluey content and eventually one day other content too, but there's just so much Bluey. So if you love Bluey as much as I do, don't forget to hit that like button down below as well as the subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's just jump straight into it with the first episode that we're gonna talk about and that is Mini Bluey. Now we are missing a scene from Mini Bluey and at first a lot of people didn't realize that this was actually missing until they sort of did a double take. But right at the very end, we see a little two, two lines, one from Bluey, one from Bingo that is missing from the Disney version. So this is the Australia version. Ah! Ah! You look crazy. Follow me. Oh. And now this is the Disney version. Here you go. As you can see, it's missing the lines where Bluey tells Bingo that she looks crazy and Bingo says, follow me. The follow me part, I don't know why they couldn't have just left that in. I don't think there was anything wrong with that. But the you look crazy part is obviously the line that Disney had an issue with. Now, why might they have had an issue with this? I'm assuming it's because they don't want to encourage the idea of children calling other children crazy or calling them names. But what's really frustrating is that this kind of defies the whole purpose of this kind of scene. Bingo wants to show Bluey that she is also annoying or crazy or not as much fun to be around, I guess. And that's the whole point of this. Is Bluey then realizing, oh yeah, Bingo does look crazy. Oh, she can be annoying. So I think, I don't know, it kind of takes away a little bit from it. Bingo basically wants to show that she has negative traits too and that that should be a reason why her parents don't want double Bingo. Which honestly, I thought that was gonna be the line that was removed from this because that was pretty rough and doesn't really flow with how Bandit and Chili normally are. But I mean, that line was kept in. So do I agree with this cut? No, absolutely not. I think that this was over censorship and should have just been left in. There was nothing wrong with it. What do you guys think though of the mini bluey cut? Let me know down below. Let's go on to our second one then. There's also a second small change that Disney did actually change after it was released. Some of you might have picked up on it. When they first released it, they have like the little captions on Disney Plus for each episode. And for mini bluey, they referred to bluey as him. Really, come on, like we're this far into Bluey and people are still mistaking her for a boy. Even the people who are releasing the show, they did however eventually change this about three days later, they finally edited it and put it her in instead. So I mean, yay, Disney does kind of listen to everyone and makes a change, a very small change. Our next big change that we're gonna talk about is from the episode Housework. And again, we have a massive deleted scene, which at first you might've thought would've just been a word deleted, but no, they deleted a whole interaction between Bandit and Chili. So this is the Australia version. Ow, my groin. <laughs> That's funny, is it? <laughs> a little. Well, come on, you try it. Okay, so feet out. Yeah, but back in on every other step. Yep, see? And then you spin. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's not easy. I can do this. And this is the Disney Plus version. <laughs> Ow. Now, I feel like if the word groin was what they had an issue with, they would have just silenced that word and just left it with ow, and they would have just continued that whole conversation they were having and Chili learning the dance. But no, they cut the whole thing. They cut us seeing Chili try to learn how to do the dance as well as her having a little laugh at Bandit and saying that, yeah, it is funny watching him, I guess, get hurt. And I'm guessing that's why Disney had an issue with her conversation with Bandit is that, Again, they don't want to encourage parents being mean to each other or having a laugh at each other, but it was just friendly banter. It was nothing really wrong with that situation. It was funny, but I guess that Disney did not think that it was, or maybe they thought that showing kids how exactly to do the dance was dangerous. Yes, if you hear that gooing and going in the background, that's my daughter. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. I do not agree with this cut. I think they should have just silenced the word groin if that was a big issue they had with the word. But what do you guys think? Do you think they should have made this edit for housework? Our next one we're gonna talk about is Born Yesterday. And at first I would have been like, yeah, okay, I understand this cut, except we have seen this before in Bluey. So of course we're talking about the swing to the groin gag. This is the ABC Australia version. Oh, swing. Whee. This is oh. <laughs> And this is the Disney Plus version. 
Now, yes, at first you might be like, oh yeah, okay, maybe I could see why they removed it. But like I just said before, we have already seen this gag twice in Bluey. Once in Rug Island. Uh, oh, what was and also in Sleepy Time. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that Disney Plus also hosts The Simpsons, who always do this joke, especially the football to the groin one. So as to why they cut it, I have no idea. I'm literally baffled on this one. All of a sudden, oh no, season three, we must protect the children from this joke that they have already seen in this series. But speaking of baffled of things that have already appeared before, let's talk about our next edit, and that is Facey Talk with Trixie on the toilet, all of a sudden missing. So this is the ABC Australia version. <laughs> Whoa, okay, there we go. This is the Disney Plus version. I honestly am really furious about this, like so, so mad. Cause we've seen this again before. We have seen Bandit on the toilet twice and we've even seen Bluey on the toilet. But Bandit especially, not only do we see it in Easter. But we also saw it in the episode The Weekend, which was the pilot episode. Are you welcome to write out some Disney saw this episode and that's what made them decide to distribute Bluey worldwide outside of Australia. So they obviously didn't have an issue back then, so why do they have an issue now with Trixie being on the toilet? We have seen the dads on the toilet, we have seen the kids on the toilet, we have seen Bingo weeing left, right and centre with her tactical wheeze and bush wheeze. Why? was Trixie taken out. I don't understand this. As a mum, this is such a regular part of the life of your kids constantly running in on you while you're in the bathroom. So I don't get it. This one, again, baffles me. I do not agree with this cut whatsoever. I think it makes absolutely no sense. But let me know what you guys think. Continuing on with the toilet humor that is removed from season three, let's talk about the episode Driving and Agatha the Cat. Agatha was such a hilarious character and also Bluey, the voice actor, did such a good job like changing her voice for Agatha too. It was so good. And yet again, so sad that they made an edit to this. So this is the original Australia version. Um, pee on your curtains. What? What did it do? Agatha pees on your curtains. Man, is she really gonna pee on your curtains? She peed on my curtains. Do you want help? This is the Disney Plus version. Scratch your curtains. Scratch my curtains. What did it do? Agatha scratches your curtains. You're really gonna scratch up your curtains? She scratched up my curtains. You want help fixing them up? Not only do they change the word peeing for scratch up your curtains multiple times, obviously, throughout the episode, you can kind of tell when they've edited it it in and out. For me, it's kind of janky. Like when I listen to it, I'm like, I can hear when you guys have changed that because it doesn't flow as naturally as it should. So why might they remove this? I don't know. Do they want to make sure that children don't pee on curtains? I mean, if they want to make sure that there wasn't any peeing influences happening, why include all the bushwees? Because I know bushwee has become a very normal part of our family life as well as tactical wees. So maybe they were worried about that. They saw that those things had been included into bluey family people's lives and they didn't want to add peeing on curtains. But yet again, they've had a joke about peeing before that they never edited it out in swim school. Bandit pees in the water and apparently again, if Bandit does it, it's perfectly fine. But if anyone else does it, you tell him, girl. It's not. Obviously, this does not bode well for the future episode Smoochy Kiss and the peeing on his foot. So, again, I don't agree with this change. I think they should have just left it, but what do you guys think? Our next episode, then, is Pass the Parcel. Again, the toilet humor continues. I feel like Ludo Studios maybe did this on purpose. They were just trying to see what they could get through the Disney machine. But the pony poop was not one of those things. Yet again, we get to see our magical unicorn pony from the markets, as well as our market lady at Muffin's birthday party in Pass the Parcel. This is the Australia version. This is the Disney Plus version. Maybe you notice that there's two things that have changed here. Obviously, the poop has been removed in the Disney version, but also the hay that the pony is eating changes directions. So someone also made an extra edit on that, which was weird and interesting. So why was this removed? Well, I mean, they already removed the actual scene of this pony pooping in the episode market. So it's not surprising that they removed this as well. Do I agree with it? No. Am I surprised? Also, no. But I still think they should have left this in. It's just a little thing. Come on, Disney. What do you guys think? The next one is actually the one that I can agree with. Just. So that is from the episode Explorers, where we have Jack's dad doing the interaction with the backpackers who are picking strawberries. And this is the Australia version. Hey, I'm from Argentina. And I'm from France. This is the Disney Plus version. Neither are we. I'm from Argentina. We are backpackers. As an Australian, 
I kind of get it. I knew automatically that when they said they're from Argentina and France that yeah, they were backpackers because as an Australian, I know that that's how our fruit and vegetables get picked. They're picked by backpackers. It's part of an agreement we have. If they want to stay for an extra year in Australia, they have to do farm work for two months. So I get that. Like I automatically understood that. And I love the joke that the French bulldog was from France. That was really cool. But I can see why Disney changed it worldwide. Cause yeah, maybe other people might be like, why are there Argentinian and French people here. So I guess I see why they said that they're backpackers. I can understand that one edit. It is the only edit that I understand. It does make it sound like they're both from Argentina, but whatever. I understand where they're coming from from this one. So I will give it a maybe to yes that I agree. But what do you guys think? Let me know below. So our last two edits are of course very much linked together and that is the episode's perfect and family meeting. So let's talk about perfect first and the fact that it replaced family meeting in these first 25 episodes. Initially we thought that this might be released later on as like a special for Father's Day because that's what it was released like in Australia and you can't actually watch it on Australia ABC iView anymore because it was a special. So that's interesting and we just assumed if it's not on ABC Australia it's not going to be on Disney Plus. We were wrong. Of course though, they did make one very, very large edit, which changes a lot of information as well about the law in Bluey in both ways, I guess. So let's just watch it. This is the Australia version. It's all pretty quick, really. Yeah, it was just in and out and I even got to keep them. I'm keen to get it done, but Chili, she wants to keep her options open, but I don't know. Do we want any more of these things running around? This is the Disney Plus version. It was all pretty quick, really. Yeah, it was just in and out and I even got to keep them. Really? Yeah, I know, I probably should get it done. But I love my dog teeth. I don't know. What if one day I just want to bite someone? So as we can see, in the original Australia version, they're talking about vasectomies or neutering. I did a whole theory based on this, but we also find out that Bandit is considering it. He doesn't want really any more of these kids running around, but Chili wants to keep her options open which creates the idea that maybe there could be another healer baby in the future that Chili still wants to. And then of course it follows into the episode Bedroom, which quite nicely links up together with her being not ready to let go of all the baby things. But with the Disney Plus version, all of that is gone. Overseas audiences no longer know that Chili maybe wants to have another healer baby in the future. And I really think that that sucks that they took that out. As for what they added in though, the fact that the dogs can remove their teeth, we're assuming canine teeth, but maybe like a joke towards wisdom teeth. And the fact that Bandit wants to bite someone I'm really surprised that they actually let this joke go through considering that they think it's aimed for toddlers and one of the biggest issues with toddlers is biting other people so why would they put in a joke that I guess in a way encourages that it makes no sense also we've seen bandit biting people in the short archaeology so I don't know if they're leading up to this idea that the dogs in Bluey can go feral I'm not sure what's going on I'm assuming they took out the idea of the vasectomy joke because they don't want to talk about contraception in a way on Disney Plus with the whole Roe v Wade stuff going on in America I guess it. I don't think that they should have done it. I think it's a perfectly normal conversation that's meant to be a joke for adults, which is a lot of this show. There are lots of references for things that only adults understand and that kids don't, just like Disney and Pixar movies. So I don't understand why they did this and added in something else that is more detrimental to the actual specific age group that they think that they're targeting. But what do you guys think? Do you think that they should have changed the joke? Or do you think they should have replaced it with a different joke that wasn't about biting someone? And then of course, number 10, the biggest edit of all was the fact that the episode family meeting got cut. Not surprisingly, with all of the removal of the peeing and farting and toilet humor jokes, basically for all the other episodes, this entire episode is about fluffies, but it got cut. And I'm really sad about it because it's not about fluffies, it's about whether or not you should tell a lie, why you shouldn't tell even little white lies and what you can learn from telling the truth instead and how you're a better person for it. And I'm so mad that they cut this because again, with the age group that they're targeting, lying about who farts is a pretty common thing. So this episode would have been perfect for that age group as well as for adults and parents who want to learn how to teach their kids to not lie about that as well. So I'm really furious because this is a really good episode for both families as well as kids and adults like as an all-round parenting episode and they just completely removed it because saying fluffy or brownie was too much and yet Disney has the Lion King on their service they made the Lion King the Lion King has many a farting joke from Pumbaa so what on earth is Disney thinking I don't 
I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But something that just makes me also really sad is what other audiences are missing out on this episode. And that's that we learn what Bluey's middle name is, which is, spoiler alert, Christine. This is so beautiful though, because Christine is obviously her Nana Chris's full name. So it's after her Nana. But also Nana in the show is voiced by Chris Brum, who is the show creator's mom. And it's just such a beautiful homage to her by having like her middle name involved with Bluey. And I'm so sad and mad and disappointed in Disney for removing that and audiences around the world not knowing that. So those are the 10 major changes that I noticed all throughout season three so far, but did you guys find anything else? I'm going to be re-scouring through each episode as I do the breakdowns, which I've been re-releasing for season 3A. So of course, as I go through each breakdown, I'll mention anything else if I notice anything else pop up. But these are the 10 major ones that I found. So let me know in the comment section down below which one you were the most mad about. For me, it's probably Trixie on the toilet. I'm still fuming about that edit. But let me know about yours down below. Don't forget to hit that like button as well if you love Bluey including season three, even what Disney released. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release a new video. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you might like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!